ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, I've got a question for you. Are Starlight Rares overhyped? Are Starlight Rares really all that rare? And I ask you this um, because what I hold in my hands right now uh, is a Starlight Rare Book of the Month. Book of Lunar Eclipse. Damn, that actually looks really good on my shitty webcam. But not just one Starlight Rare. No, no, no. If we gonna do it big, we finna go ham. And we just so happen to pull, as well, the $500 Starlight Rare Black Rose Dragon. And my god is it beautiful. Right out of the pack, straight into the sleeve for both of these Starlight Rares. So what is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here. I hope you like that little intro as I set my $610 uh, to the side there. Um, and I wanted to make this video talking about are Starlight Rares really all that worth it? Um, I, I think even my, my Mickey hat would agree that uh, Starlight Rares uh, don't seem all of that hyped up. <laughs> so let me just kind of put things in perspective because this video is more than anything a question to you, the viewer, that is Starlight Rare is really something worth investing in and are they really all that rare in general? I mean, is, is it just something that's sort of overhyped or did I just get lucky? So a week ago, last week on Monday, I decided, you know what? It's a beautiful day outside. I am going to go and buy a case. And I went to my local card shop and I was either going to get, I looked at the products and I thought, I'm either going to get myself a case of Phantom Rage because if I pull a double A Zeus, I can turn that around and flip it for a lot of money. Uh, King's Court because there's a lot of good money cards in that set or Lightning Overdrive. So I walk into my OTS and I said, do you have any one of those three? They said, we're all out of Phantom Rage. We've got Lightning Overdrive and King's Court. I said, all right, how much for King's Court? After tax, it was going to be close to like 1100 bucks. It was like $1,087. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> uh, and then Lightning Overdrive after tax was $902.87. Now, us being the baller that we are, we paid cash for that bitch. <laughs> and uh, so we, we we drop the 920 in cash. We get our box that has all of our cases. And I was going to film it. And then I thought, Dawn of Majesty's right around the corner. I'm not going to film a set that's a couple months old just to, like, what, get 10 to 15 views. I figured, you know what, I'll just open it off camera. It's not really worth the time to set it up. I am going to do another case opening, which I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, um, that I will be streaming on the channel if I can figure out how my streaming setup works. Um, but yeah, so um, I was not even halfway through my case, and we pulled the Book of Lunar Eclipse. About 20 or 30 packs later, we pulled the Black Rose Dragon. Uh, now, I have already made a little bit of my investment back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I sell a lot of my cards. Pretty much I sell everything through um, a OTS called Cool Stuff Games. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them. Just I go through their buy list, their system. I don't want to haggle with people, and I get my money that way. They buy at about 70 to 75% um, value. So, like, right now they're buying the shitty Secret Rare Radiance Dragon out of Lightning Overdrive, the Starlight, for 50 bucks, and it goes for 90 So, in that case, like 60, 65%, I think. But anyway, I've already made back uh, $210 and like 50 cents, something like that, on this 900 and basically $3 investment. But now, with these Starlight Rares, they're going to go to the moon. I just have to wait for them to go up. Yeah, Book of Lunar Eclipse isn't that good. It's going to probably hover around the $150 range. You know, it's going to slowly go up from 110 to 150 Um and the Black Rose could very well go up from 500 even higher. Someone made a good point that reached out wanting to buy these. And they said that the Black Rose probably won't go up that much because it's not considered max rarity because it was ghost rare. Um, which, you know, one could argue that the Starlight Rare is higher rarity, I think. I personally don't think it's higher rarity. I just think that that argument could be made. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I, I started thinking after this happened and I was like, you know... Are Starlights really all that they're cracked up to be? And if they are, maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe I just 
happen to waltz into my OTS, buy a case with cash, and I just got lucky in pulling two starlights. Because from all the research I've seen, I uh, looked on Reddit, and some guy said that you're lucky to get one starlight in about every, one in every two cases. Uh, and then I asked a guy at another OTS, which was actually Cool Stuff Games, I said, what's the ratio about one starlight every one case? He said, yeah, that's about what I see. It's one starlight for every one case. I bought 12 boxes. I got a whole case. And I thought when I pulled the Lunar Eclipse, that was going to be it. And uh, now I have a very good chance to make m m all of my money back and then some. Um, you know, if, if Cool Stuff <clears throat> does for the Black Rose a little bit down the road, what they're doing with the Appaloosa, which is a Starlight Rare, that Starlight's like 1200 bucks, and they're buying that Starlight for 700 I turn around and sell this Black Rose for 700 I mean, that's all of my money made back right there. That's $910. Anything else is just icing on the cake. So, <clears throat> it also got me thinking, too, that Cases, in theory, are actually much more better to invest in now because if, and it's a big if, you pull something like the Black Rose Dragon, you make a good amount of your money back. Had I bought Lightning Overdrive when the set first came out, <clears throat> and what, a case, because I'm going to be getting a Burst of Destiny case. Case for that will probably be after taxes like 620, 630. You pull a $500 card, you've made almost all your money back from that one card. Not to mention, Cool Stuff Games will buy a thousand commons for $18. There's 2,340 commons in a case. Yes, I did that fucking math. Yes, it sucked. <laughs> um, that's $36 right there that you can already take off from your initial investment, right? So I am, with that being said, I am going to buy a case of Burst of Destiny when it comes out like October 10th through 12th, whatever the date is, assuming that it doesn't get delayed, I will be buying a case of that and doing a live stream here on the channel, so be sure that you are subbed for that. I will hopefully be bringing back some more uploads as well, depending on if actual events come back, since you know going to locals is just pointless right now. I'm waiting for the regionals and YCSs to return. Um, but these are, I feel definitely, I want to make sure I pick this up right. I don't want to fuck up the card. Um, I do feel that these are worth investing in because <clears throat> if if you get it out of a case, right, you have the potential to make a lot of your money back. But again, the question also is implied in this situation. It, are they even worth it? Are they even worth that price value? <clears throat> and again, I know I keep saying it in the video, but maybe I just got lucky. Maybe just I pulled the Lunar Eclipse and like 30 packs later... I pulled the Black Rose. And I do wish what I would have done when I did this case opening, I hadn't just ripped open all the boxes and dump, literally dumped all the packs on my desk and just started opening them. I wish I would have done one box at a time so I could have seen how many boxes I was in before pulling the Black Rose and the Lunar Eclipse. But that's semantics at this point. <clears throat> but guys, please, as I'm losing my voice, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, did I just get lucky, or are Starlights really just kind of overhyped? Unless it's something like, I guess, Appaloosa, which, I mean, even then, it's it's been out for a while. It was the first set of Starlight Rares, so I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. And the other thing you have to keep in mind, too, is that you can only get Starlight Rares out of first edition boxes. So the older a set becomes, the more those cards are going to go up, because it's going to be harder to actually get them. Um, so, you know, I think that that's another reason why Apollos has gone to the moon and beyond. Also because of the fact that it is a very good card. Um, but guys, please, let me know what you guys think. Smash that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be having a lot more uploads hopefully coming here very, very soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.